hello 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 welcome back hippies back with another very 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 beautiful tutorial this one's for a toothbrush holder before we get started make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet so that way you don't miss anything that i do put out for you guys moving forward all right hippies so to start off what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and open up our mold make sure we cut around all the edges and pull it out gently and then from here i'm just going to prep it on my board and everything and make sure that everything's nice and level after that i mixed up some clear resin i'm just going to pour that into these side panels i'm using my mixing stick to make sure that the resin is distributed all across here and it's just a nice little even layer so that way we can place our inserts and you know just kind of move forward with that portion so i'm just moving everything around how i see fit using my toothpick to get in there and pop any bubbles that may be trapped in those corners. Now what you see me doing here is just adding a bit of resin to the front of my pressed flowers and then I just press that into the resin. What that does is it just helps minimize the bubbles that may populate um, when you are demolding, unmolding these um, pieces and everything. Um, you know sometimes the air can get trapped so this will just help um, out with that a bit so I'm using a popsicle stick just to kind of help press these down further I want to push them down as close to the surface as possible without um, poking at the mold the silicone mold too harshly they will move around a bit especially if they aren't pressed um, towards the front so you know do keep that in mind after I get my flowers where I want them, I'm just going to place my leaves right on top so that way it creates a nice layering effect. So that way when I pull these from the mold, um, the leaves will be um, like kind of resting behind the flowers as you saw in the little preview in the beginning of this video. But you'll get a little deeper um, looky at the end as you know when I do the show off of the finished product and give you an up close detailed view and this glitter mix I'm using right here was custom made by me if you are interested in any glitter mixes make sure you do follow my Etsy shop I do have it linked below so that way you guys can get to it easily what I'm doing is I'm just using this glitter to just kind of um, go around and add a bit of just make it a little bit more interesting add some pop around the flowers and around the leaves I don't want to add too much and just because I want the flowers to really be the, the focal point of what's going on here excuse me because I do have the hiccups and I don't want to re-record so this is kind of where we're at <laughs> but yeah go ahead and just move that glitter around and everything and just get it where you want it and then after you had it how you like it you're going to yeah just leave it in place spray your alcohol of course and then you're just going to allow that to cure once it's had a chance to finish curing you're going to go ahead and mix up a bit more resin and then you're just going to take your glitter pour some of the resin into that glitter and then you're just going to set that kind of off to the side and everything because um, you're going to mix that up to pour into this middle piece that'll be the top part of the toothbrush holder so go ahead and mix that up and everything get it nice and thick and what you're going to do is you're going to pour um, a little bit of the clear resin right into that middle part so that way it has a nice little base layer and then you're going to spread it around evenly after you get it spread around pretty evenly it doesn't have to be perfect um just make sure it's not on um, top of the little spaces where it'll be opening at 
just take that glitter mix and pour it directly into the middle of that piece so that way all the glitter chunks flow directly into that middle part and they just kind of flow outward so that way it creates a natural ombre so that's a little hack for you guys there you go don't say i never gave you nothing <laughs> all right so anyway just go ahead and um get the remaining of that resin and grab your mica powders i went ahead and pre-separated these some of it does have a little bit of glow in it um i believe the pink one is the one i added the glow powder to and what i'm just doing is i'm just going to go ahead and mix that up really really good make sure that the powder is distributed evenly and then you're just going to go ahead and pour that into the base of the mold and do the same exact thing on the other side as well. And then you're just going to come in with the yellow and do the same and then come in with the clear at the top. So that way it creates a nice little fusion. Now what you don't use of that clear, just go ahead and pop it into those cups and everything. So that way you can create a few more of the pigmented um, resin. Mix that up how you like it. And then what we're going to do is you're just going to pour this into a pattern into the base mold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the pink on the outsides and then I'm going to pour the yellow into the middle. I make sure I do scrape at the sides as well so that way I can get all the resin out because as you know, no resin left behind. This resin is expensive. I don't want you guys wasting any product if you don't have to. So just go ahead and continue filling that up. Get everything out of those cups. And then once you finish with that, you're going to spray your alcohol, of course. So that way it blows some of the bubbles. And you can also use a toothpick or a popsicle stick just to drag the colors into each other. Make it more interesting, give it a little bit more flavor and whatnot. And then that will make it look really pretty and unique and whatnot. And then you're just going to allow that to cure. All right, hippies, once that's had a chance to cure, what you're going to do now is you're just going to go ahead and whip up a little bit more of that clear resin. Make sure it's nice and bubble free and mix the best you can. And what you're gonna see me do is you're going to see me add a very thin layer onto this top piece that has all that glitter and everything. And this is just going to add a nice layer and make sure it fills the mold and whatnot and gives it a nice glossy finish as well. Then you're gonna take the remaining clear resin and just pour all of it into um, this mold here off to the side that has the base. So that way you fill the molds completely and everything. And then from there, um, you are going to, you know, just make sure it's nice and even, remove the bubbles, and then just allow that to cure like we did with the other layers. All right, so after your resin has had a chance to fully cure, um, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and wiggle everything from the mold, pop everything right on out. And as you can see, everything looks really, really good. Um, I didn't go over, so I don't have to worry about filing down too much, but I do have to pull some of these excess pieces off. So I'm just doing that as I go. This is how that side panel looks. 
this is how that top panel looks it's beautiful it came out very smoothly and this is how that other side panel looks I'm just gonna move that mold off to the side continue picking these pieces off and I'm also going to go around the edges of this and just coat it in a silver colored acrylic paint using paint markers that I've used on this channel before I'll also have the link below for you so I'm not going to actually show that step but yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and finish this up and get that paint on drying. And ta-da! This is our finished product, Hippies. She is absolutely beautiful. I believe she is a beautiful complement to any bathroom. She can hold up to three different toothbrushes separately. But if you guys are close, close, you can put them in one holder, like one little hole together. Two toothbrushes in one hole. But, you know, that's up to you. Um, <laughs> I love how the silver paint turned out on the edges. It really complements the colors of this pink and yellow very, very well. I love how these pink and flower, the, I'm sorry, these pink and yellow flowers look with these green leaves. It just looks really beautiful. And I love how the glitter doesn't overpower the side panels, especially since we have a lot going on with that ombre and with the silver edging already. I love how that clear is at the top and it's just like that little see-through element. I love how all this like kind of sits in together. If you love it as much as I do hippies, make sure you do leave a comment for me below. I love reading what you guys have to say and hearing what you guys have to say and whatnot. Um, feedback is a gift, so make sure you do leave it for me. Make sure you hit that like button as well. It really helps with the algorithm and share this with a friend if it helped you out. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time, hippies. XO. Mwah.